Hi, so in this video we're going to quickly, or not so quickly, turn through the pages of Airframe album number 9 uh, on the Arado 234 from Valiant Wings Publishing. And this is obviously the ninth book in the series and it's a pretty good series in my opinion. It gives a lot of details. So, start off with the introduction, um, glossary, and then the preface is basically the story of the aircraft starting from V1, the first prototype, and working its way through the, the very first prototypes had a completely different fuselage profile to the production versions. And then we see some later versions which never actually made it to operational service, operational use, night fighter as well, all the various projects and prototypes and the differences between them, or what they were, their intended usage. You see there's lots of photographs here, Ca aircraft that were captured at the end of the war. There's some profiles, various types, various nationalities. And into the technical description, which gives you a lot of interior details, a lot of details if you're going to add more detail to a model. Um, this is the section that you're going to like the most, as you can see with this picture of a cockpit. And there's a lot of details, basically they're going around one that's in a museum here. And I'm taking photographs of well, pretty much everything. And some black and white ones from from the wall. And they've mixed in basically all sorts of photograph, black and white photographs from the wall, colour photographs from an example in the museum, and uh, even diagrams from um, manuals. There's a lot of a lot of good details here for modelers. Fuel and hydraulic system, electrics, radios, radars, into prototypes which used to skip the B series. Onto the tail, enough detail so if you wanted to take a chunk out of the tail, you can actually build the uh, uh, build the metal un underneath it, the framework underneath it. Flaps and undercarriage, engines, and a lot of kits come with an engine, um, an engine that can be displayed. Cowlings. Rocket assisted takeoff pods, ordnance and weapons, bomb aiming or sights, cameras, and some of the general pieces. And the evolution of the type from prototype through to production and projected variants. And on each one, it shows you what the changes are to the one that came before or what it was based on. Camouflage and markings, the colours used, and then a couple, then a few bills. A 172nd, the Dragon 172nd kit, and then on to a Hasegawa 148th kit. And then a list of all the all the kits that are available, and then in both scales, and also all the decals that are available, aftermarket decals, and all the publications that are available. I think in that list somewhere as well as yes, all the aftermarket products that are available. So no, it's uh, a really good book on the Aero 234. Concentrates on a lot of details that are useful to a modeler. If you want to check that a panel lines in the right place. Or if you want to add more wiring to somewhere, you can see exactly where that wiring should go. If you want to open up some panels, you can see what exactly should be behind those panels, so you know what to replicate. Um, 
Yeah, or if, if you're into the Audi 234, either just like the aircraft, want to know more or building one, then this is a really good book to get.